Hey guys, it's Sergeant Daddy Bacon 15, and here's that Metal of Honor Warfighter gameplay I was talking about. Uh, this gameplay is actually from before the patch, so you won't see any of those, you know, different things that happen in the patch, which is, you know, on PS3, basically not much. When it comes to VOIP, they never fix a VOIP on PS3. They did fix it from the party chat, but that doesn't really help a lot, considering you can't talk during the game. You can only talk before and after the game. And... Um, when you when you can talk in game, it's so unpredictable. Some people can hear others. Sometimes they can hear you. Uh, you know, it's all messed up. I just want um, I, I just say for PS3 because I don't know. Uh, I, I don't play this on other platforms, so obviously I don't know how what they fix on on Xbox or PC. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys give me some feedback on that and tell me what they fixed and what they didn't fix. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the OBR for the pointman class, and this is one of the more different assault rifles. And I'll tell you why in a second. It's actually my favorite uh, assault rifle out of all of them. Um, right, uh, the AK-103 being right, you know, behind this one. It's a really good assault rifle as well. But um, what makes this one so different? I'll tell you what. It it has a lot of different stats. First of all, the rate the rate of fire is 300 rounds per minute. That is really low. Um, like the F88 has 700 rounds per minute, and the AK103 has 833. So th this one's fairly low. But what makes this, you know, what compensates for that low rate of fire is the damage. This assault rifle has 30 damage per bullet, up to about 30 meters, and a drop off of 14 damage to um, about 50 meters. So if you want to make this, you know, if you want to get the best out of this assault rifle, I suggest you put on all the long-range attachments. And by long-range, I don't mean the the ones that increase precision. I mean the ones that increase damage, like the heavy barrel. Uh, the scope doesn't really matter, but you know, like I said, the agility doesn't really matter on this that much. So I just put on whatever is best for long-range shooting. So that that way you take full advantage of this of this gun. So yeah, it does have the lowest rate of fire, but it has the highest damage as well. Uh, the mag reload. It's about 3 seconds and 30 for, you know, if you are if you have, um, I, I think it's if you have no bullets in your mag. But I'm getting my stats from Sigmic.com, and they really don't have um, all their stats there yet. It's a work in progress, as they say. Um, <clears throat> it still has a 30 round magazine, which is pretty good. Uh, considering the rest of assault rifles have that as well, and this is more of a battle rifle. It's not much of an assault rifle in my eyes because it's not you know automatic. It's more semi-automatic. Uh, I don't use it to run and gun all that much. But here you see me running gunning because I'm pretty sure I'm playing team deathmatch. And I, this gameplay I do pretty good. It's actually raw and unedited. That's uh, I get. I mean it was good enough to be raw and unedited, so I guess it was pretty good. Um, I, I don't exactly know what KD would go on, but uh, here's that chip you, you see me. I Every time I spawn, at the first thing I do, most of the time, sometimes I don't because, you know, there are enemies around or I see someone on a minimap, I put in that, that more, you know, that mag with more damage. And that way, you know, I don't die with that mag in there. Uh, the only reason you wouldn't want to would be because it increases recoil, but on the OBR, it really does not matter because it's a semi automatic battle rifle and, you know or assault rifle, whatever you want to call it. So it really doesn't matter. That initial recoil doesn't affect it all that much. So I suggest you just put in that mag first thing when you spawn, unless you see chaos around you, right? So you wouldn't want to do that because then you'd get in trouble. But here you see me like, get a little burden, and then I'm all excited because the next thing I believe is the Apache. And then I use that, and um, yeah, this this happens. I get, I get killed. Yeah. Alright, the two guys pull up and I kill one, I can take on the other one. Uh, yeah, if you're not with your fire team buddy, you can get really screwed over, especially since you can't communicate. So, yeah, try to keep a lot of cover when you're not with your fire team buddy. Um, also, I wish you could change fire team's buddy, fire team buddies in between the game because it's really annoying being in a fire team buddy with someone you don't know or can't even talk to. And, yeah, they you don't do very well. <laughs> So, uh, you see me using the 870 once in a while. The 870 is pretty good, too. I think it's my best weapon, but only because <clears throat> on Battle Lock, it adds up what country from Assault Rifles you use. So, if I total my LBR kills, I'd probably have more kills than the 870. But since I use it for different uh, different country guns of the OBR, a different version of the OBR, it won't count that. So, the 870 has a 15 damage per 
you know, per pellet. It has 12 pellets, and that's 15 up to about 5 meters. So if they're not 5 meters, you know, away from you, you're going to do really bad. After 5 meters, you'll be doing 4 damage per pellet, and that's at about 7 meters. So don't use this at long range. Please don't. It's like you might as well throw a pillow at them or something. It's not going to work. So just do that. Just, you know, get up close and personal and do it or just switch up to your primary and reload. If you have to, just reload because you're not going to get a kill. You know, shoot marshmallows or something. Just please don't go through the pain of using this 870 at long range. It's only good when you're within five meters of your enemies after four meet after four uh not four after about six meters that always does four damage if you really like that four damage for pellet i don't know something's wrong with you but go ahead and do it that's about 48 damage if all the pellets hit them but there's no way even half the pellets are going to hit them at that range so don't do it save yourself the trouble uh it has about four shells and i'm just talking about this because that way i don't have to talk about the 870 in future of videos where i use point man class but yeah what i have to think about this gun this gun is awesome it's amazing and uh you guys should definitely try it out if you're it might take a little to get used to since you're used to running with assault rifles but it's something it's really worth uh the getting used to here you see me taking out some people i come down with the chopper um i attempted this before and i got about six kills that didn't really work that well here um, <clears throat> this video is coming to an end, and I, I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys rated, liked, and subscribed. If you haven't yet, you can look forward to future Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor Warfighter videos. I'm, and I might post a Need for Speed Most Wanted video here and there. But make sure to leave some suggestions. I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. I will. And I'll see you guys later. This is Sergeant Daddy 15 signing out.